Hello everyone, today I'd like to talk about a beautiful website for you. It's a project actually and it's been turned into, uh, I can say, a website. And before waiting too much, let's see what it is about. The name of the website is Bilingual Picture Books. Let's look for it and go to home Bilingual Picture Books. This is the interface and you can either read it in uh, German or in English, in Spanish. I prefer English for now. I'm going to practice German and choose uh, German later on while I'm showing the, the, the project. Yes, here, um, as you can see, the name of the company or the organization is Bücher Piraten which means book pirates, pirate books, and they are the pirates. Um, they call them pirates, but they actually doing a great project and uh, many people around the world, many children around the world can benefit from this. You can find the books here, you can learn more about the people and you can support them either by donating or translating in your own language. Uh, as far as I can see, the aim is 1001 languages, as you can see here. You can add a book if you wish. You can write your own book, send it in different formats and contacting these people here. Uh, but as far as I know, you can read it in detail here, but this is a charitable project and you're not going to be paid for that. But your name will be included in the books. And you can watch the news here overview and the newsletters you can go into detail and inspirations this part is beautiful i liked it i read the book the flaming fox it's and the book was turned into a stop motion film here which i enjoyed a lot it looks really professional and we please read the book first the flaming fox i'll show you some screens uh, from the video. You'll see what these children are doing here after you read the book itself. I'm going to the books. The stop motion film was based on this book. Uh, there are a lot of books as you see. Let's go to the flaming fox. You can get some information, basic information. If you think you'll enjoy, you can just click and go to the book there. So, um, this is, these are some screenshots, you can get some idea about the book by looking at the content, the keywords are here, original language, it was written in, the authors, illustrators, music, moderation and so on. And the main part I'd like to show you is this downloading option. Let's click download we have selected the book Flaming Fox. If we want to practice a language we are learning, like me learning German, or if you want to practice your English, you can choose English and your own mother tongue. I'm going to choose German. As you see, there are a lot of languages here. As the book was written in German, I want to practice German and I want to compare the translation with the English version. You can choose your own language. You can either read it on tablet or phone, ring binders. You can just print them out if you wish. You can just get it as a book, which is going to be in PDF format. Now, language one is German, language two is English. So you have got a bilingual book now. The format is book. I'm downloading it. It's getting prepared. As you see, it's downloading here. Let's wait. It takes a little time to download, depending on your internet connection. Soon it's going to be OK. Yes, it's downloaded. It was about 50 or 60 megabytes. But if you choose the ring binder, it might take a little space. I'm clicking and opening it now. And we'll see the book. Der Flammende Fuchs. This is the German version. You see the information again. And you can print this out too. 
Es war einmal oder es war nicht in einem Wald viele Meilen von ihr der Siedlung entfernt. Da lebte ein flammender Fuchs. For example, I don't know the word Siedlung. And Wald is, yeah, I think forest. Es war einmal oder es war nicht means once upon a time or never. In einem war viele Meilen von ihr der Siedlung. From miles from the nearest village. So, Siedlung means village. I have just learned this word. Entfernt means um, near or far, far from there. Da lebt ein flammender Fuchs. Flammende means flaming. So, the words look like each other. That's why I chose English, because the words look really similar. Just like Fuchs or Fuchs, I'm not sure is fox, it's so close. And furcht, for example, is fear or fright, afraid. It's similar to the word. That's why I like it. Allein is alone. It's, if you know English, of course, learning German will be better and vice versa. Yeah, this is the book you can read with beautiful pictures. And you can read it to the end, 15th page. I'm just scrolling through the pages for you so that you can understand what it looks like. This is completely free and you can f find a lot of free books on this website. But I strongly recommend this website to you so you can benefit a lot from that. Thanks for watching. I'll return with other beautiful websites and applications for you to try for yourselves and see for yourselves. See you. Goodbye.